Hi everyone, I hope you are all keeping very well. Um, I am going to show you a quick tutorial um, about how I took um, complete control of my personal finances. Um, this is my first Loom video, so please bear with me if there's any technical problems. So I created this spreadsheet back in 2016 um, for a number of reasons. Um, I was kind of at wit's end and I needed to take full control of my finances, everything coming in, everything going out. Um, it was just at um, a, a point in my life where I just had to get serious about um, figuring out where my money was going. And, you know, every accountant in the country is going to tell you budget 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 but the way i actually um control my money and i find that it helps me best if i actually look back so if you look back and see where you spent a, a large chunk of money or where your monthly direct debits are going you do get a bit of a shock when you realize how much you've spent on certain things over the last either month six months or the last year and here's a really good example um of what i'm talking about this spreadsheet has helped me make such better financial decisions and big decisions in my life since i started it um you know it has helped me um figure out where i want to be with my money in a certain um period of time um it has helped me achieve certain personal goals, whether it's clearing a loan early, um, paying for that holiday you really wanted, and other bits and pieces in between. Now, of course, everyone is going to be completely different. Everyone is going to have their different goals in life. Um, but for me, when I looked back and see, um, to see where I spent um, large amounts of money, um, it shook me to my core so um, I had no choice but to take a step back and do a bit of work and figure out where everything was going. So the spreadsheet that I have up here is um, only a template, an example. Obviously I have my own personal one and this one will just show you how I do it. Um, now it does look very overwhelming um, if you've never looked at an Excel spreadsheet before with a lot of detail, but I'll just give you an idea of what I do on the spreadsheet and let me know at the end um, or in the comments if, if this is something you might want to be able to download yourself or you want me to send it to you, um, I look into that and see what I can do. And um, yeah, just enjoy <laughs> figuring uh, these few bits out. Uh, I loved going through mine uh, when I started doing this. Um, what I did was I printed off from my uh, bank. Um, I went down to my online banking, printed off my statements for let's say the last six months back in 2016. And I went through each of those transactions and categorized them on this Excel spreadsheet. And then over the year, you can see where everything is going. Now, this is a lot easier if you do it um, at least once a month if not weekly um to keep on top of it but um that's how i started doing mine and you can start it at any time and i will show you now um how i complete it so starting with um 2020 we're taking this as an example so i have all my months listed january right through december and then in the next few columns, then I have from January to May, everything up to date. <clears throat> so in the pink rows, I have all of my income. Obviously, these um, amounts are just draft and example figures. So what you would do is fill in your, <clears throat> your monthly wage into each cell. And then you might have extra income that you have on the side or whatever it is. You will fill them in as um, as you need to. So you can add in like um, your own lines in here as well. So then that will bring you your total income for the month. Okay. Next up, you have in red 
very important. These are going to be all of your direct debits. So your monthly commitments and that you, in your opinion, have to have. So you're going to have everything in here between your, um, your Wi-Fi, your car insurance, your pension, income protection, your phone bill. These are all your commitments that you have and you possibly can't do without. So these are very important. And then at the end of every month, it's always interesting to see how much you pay a month on all of your direct debits. Um, because God forbid, if you had no income coming in, how are you going to cover these? So you'll have to cancel or strip back a lot of them. Um, but as I said, you can add in columns or uh, rows here as required. So then for example, your Netflix, just say there now, so it's I have eight euro in a month. Now yours could be 15 euro a month. So you'll just add in that as you need to. So then our next section is our household. Um, so these are your mortgage, your rent, your electricity, your bills, and your food shops. So then they'll go all into these columns here. So then your next um, couple of rows, you're going to have your car. I won't go into detail about all these. You have your health, your shopping. I have that in two different um, boxes. I have your online shopping and pennies. <laughs> when you look at how much you spent in pennies in a year, trust me, you will be cutting back. Um, anyway, so then you'll have your miscellaneous, um, your bank charges, etc crack so you're going to have your going out for your drinks um your concerts hens and weddings um for me personally when i look back from 2016 i got an awful shock when when you add up how much you spend going to weddings and hens over let's say two years look i know this is just part of your life but yeah when you look back at how much they actually cost you're accommodation, your dress, hair, makeup, everything, it all adds up. So anyways, um, then holidays. Um, now obviously 2020 is an exception, but if you go back over the years and check how much your holidays cost, um, this can be quite alarming sometimes as well, especially when you book a last minute weekend away with a friend. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, your exercise and hobbies and your self-care. So your, your hair, your nails, whatever it is. And all of these X's, I've, they're just um, so you can add in your own, um, whatever you do, whatever your personal circumstances are. So then at the end, I have your ATM withdrawals. That's cash, whatever you spend it on, pop it in there. Then at the end of this, for example, January 2020, you will have all of your expenses in one column. And I've kept the direct debit separate, you'll see in a second. So then all of those are added in here. Then your total expenses, your direct debits plus all of your expenses are in here. And then my summary then at the bottom, right? This is where it gets interesting. So um, your balance at the start of the month. So if you're starting to do 1st of January onwards for 2020, you pop in your opening balance that's on your statement in here in the blue box. So then your income is coming down from the top, the top of the page up here. So that's your 2000 euro plus all of your expenses. Your closing balance is the 1400 here. So that's your closing balance and that's the opening balance then in your following month. Then I have a column, sorry, a row at the bottom in red. And this is um, the balance that you will have at the end of the month. So at the 31st of January, the balance on the statement is this. So that means that it just helps you when you're categorizing all of your expenses um, up here when you've all this filled in it just helps you if there's any difference if something missing um it will show up down here that's how i know that i've everything accounted for down to the cent um i know it can be a bit like crazy and obsessive but whatever it helps me um take control of all my finances and know where every penny i earn is going and 
if you're someone that is interested in doing this let me know um i will see if what i can do about um getting the spreadsheet to you so the next column then the yellow or slightly orange column here this is going to be your totals for the whole year or whatever period that you're doing this will have your total so for example this is a total of 24,000 that was earned during the year. That's your total income. Then all of your expenses. So for example, a good one here, back to your Netflix. Netflix costs 96 euro for the entire year. Um, I'll get another good example. Um, actually the car. This was really interesting, especially with COVID um, in 2020. For me anyway, because I just started working from home, so I never used my car. And like I can see even from what I've done in 2016 how much I spent on diesel since 2016 and it is crazy but look it is what it is but just say you spend 40 euro on your diesel each month your total is 450 and you just keep carrying on to the very bottom and you see another good example so this actually is a lot harder um, if you don't have a populated, but like just say for example, you had your holiday cost maybe 200 euro in, or two grand let's say in February, a um, thousand in June, for example, 3000 euro you spent on, hol on that holiday for June. So then I also have a total column. So for each year over on the far right. So in this example, I have 2020 plus 2021 so far. And these would bring in the totals from each of these two yellow columns. Um, and it's always just quite interesting to see your totals overall of what you've been tracking. So yeah, that's um, a good example of what I do to uh, keep control of my personal finances if you get into the habit of doing it um, at the end of each week it's a lot easier um, and I suppose it's for people who do want to get serious about you know figuring out where their money is going because at the end of the month you're just about breaking even or you are like where the hell is all my money going or if you're the opposite then and you have like a lot of surplus like you'd have it's good to see um, if you have a savings account set up. So I have that included on my, where is this, the direct debits, so savings here. So like you might have a large amount going towards that into a savings account, um, completely personal, whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know what you think. And if you think I'm bonkers doing this, um, fine, that's fine too. Um, but yeah, let me know if this is something that you'd be interested in, um, if you want me to share it. Um, so yeah, thanks, bye.